thousand years for you. Because who goes by ordinary human's time standard anymore? Anyway, according to what I've seen so far, I would say that this drama is, um, it can be entertaining if you like to watch either of the leading actors. Especially Li Jin, she just makes the fun thing more fun, as long as you don't expect the drama to be an accurate depiction of anything. Now let's go over what happens in episode 1. The drama opens with the narration of a legend, a war between humans and magic people a long time ago. They tell the story with animation sequences that, for some reason, just look like ancient Egyptian art, you know what I mean? But anyway, fast forwarding to modern time, a group of treasure hunters make their way into a cave. During the trip, the leader of the group, who is also the female lead, falls into a booby trap. Ah! 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 To be honest with you though, there doesn't need to be any trap to get these amateurs into trouble. I mean, this girl's volume alone is enough to cause things to collapse. Like, just, just listen to this. You know, unless you have an excavator big enough to destroy all the booby traps there might be, the general rule is to keep your voice down and move with caution when you're inside an ancient cave, no matter your purpose. This is not the place to prove your feminist point. Also, they find a large chest in a cave, and this girl climbs inside it. Yeah, don't even be surprised you fell into a trap. So anyway, the disturbance causes an ancient war general to wake up and step out of a painting. You know, for a moment there, I was so happy Zhou Shengchen is alive and kind of looking like he's ready to take his revenge on the evil people after all. Now we soon learn that this general has one goal to be here. He is looking for his long lost love who was sacrificed in the war back then, a woman who looks exactly like the female lead. And it turns out that some of his servants also here in the modern world, waiting to help him continue this mission. So to get started, first of all, the general has to change his outfit. Are you sure? I mean, granted, this is less conspicuous than the armor, but I don't think walking around dressed like you're going to a European ball is gonna help you reach the goal of not drawing attention. Especially in this seemingly very average town. At the very least, some people are gonna try to rob you, that's what I'm saying. By the way, it's pretty obvious that this drama invested a lot in their film sets. They have these huge chandeliers in the reception room of a shop, and for some reason, they decide to put like this elegant Persian-style rug at the doorway? Well, I mean, good luck keeping that thing clean, considering it's the first thing people wipe their shoes on when they visit the shop. Now, back to the female lead. After that failed expedition, she goes home and finds herself in some financial trouble. So she decides that the only way to keep funding her business is... To marry into, that is. And the way she does this is grabbing a guy with a rich family off the street, digging up some dirt on his parents, and forcing him to marry her. You know, this first episode makes me really curious. Like, does this entire town operate in this general reversal manner, or is it just this one girl who can do it? Because, I mean, this is the Republic of China period after all. So even if you're a tomboy and you successfully forces a guy to marry you, why play the role of the groom on the wedding day? I mean, I'm still trying to figure out how much suspension of disbelief I should be doing in this case. 